Hi folks, today I'm going to show you how to hack your or modify your um, Orange Stroke BT, no not BT, EE or Orange Brightbox so you can use it on another ISP. Make sure you've got Chrome browser installed, go to 192.168.1.1, log in as admin, password, mine is WGW. JNFW9 doesn't matter if you know it because it's a spare box anyway. Okay, basic setup. Now, by default, you'll have a sorry, no, you won't. You'll have ready to connect at fs in there and some password. Oops, ready can't spell. So basically, you'll have that in there. By default, so if you try and save that, it will accept it because it's an at fs address. If you try to type something in the broadband username box which isn't at fs, say at bt.com, oh no, the broadband username has to be entered in the correct, in the correct, sorry, your broadband username has been entered in an incorrect format. Remember to use an enter an at fs at the end of your username. Okay, let's try the at fs. If I blank the password out, Oh no, please enter a broadband password. The field is currently empty. So, so if I put some random digits in, save that. Yeah, it likes that. Yeah, it's happy with that. It lets it go through. But what if we want a blank username or password or want to put our own username or password in? What we do on Chrome, press F12, click on the Sources tab. Click on Show Navigator on the left-hand side here. Double-click this page, atmpvc.htm, and then some other characters. Don't worry about that. Double-click that. On the right-hand side, scroll down. So the line number here in the left gutter says 606. It has to be the latest EE firmware to do this. The old Orange firmware does not work yet. So there's line 606 where my mouse is moving. OK. So making sure you've got a ready to connect at FS or an whatever FS address in the username box and a password of any string, doesn't matter what it is, just for testing in the password box. Click single click line 606, so you put a breakpoint in there. Scroll down to the bottom, click save settings. At the top, you'll notice it says paused in debugger and the web page has gone dark grey. So that's basically um, the breakpoint has made the uh, script execution, which saves the broadband username and password, pause so we can hack it. Now on the uh, Chrome debug panel here, go from the sources to the console and say, for example, you wanted to have your username as bthomehub at btbroadband.com and your password is blank, which is applicable to the uh, bt um, home hub. What you would do is set CFG. Notice the C has is a capital C. Open parentheses, open quotes. ISP underscore username one. Notice the case here. It says ISP is capitals, and the U of username is a capital, and the one is a digit one, comma. And then open quotes. BT Home Hub at BT broadband.com okay close parenthesis make sure that's right enter hasn't saved it yet it's just queuing up for execution <laughs> sounds a bit dodgy doesn't it queuing up to be killed by axe or by gun anyway back to the task in hand set config again type it in again after you press return on the one bit previously parenthesis quote ISP underscore P A S S W O R D one comma double quote because there's nothing it's blank. Return. Go back to the sources tab. Press resume here. Resume script execution button just here on the right. So now I'm going to save it. I'm going to bypass their SETI script and save it how you want it. Look. We've got a BT broadband address, and if we try and save it again, turn the debugger off manually. No, doesn't like that. 
Um, what you can do, if you want to change the MTU manually, you need to default this back to um, sum at fs or whatever, anything at fs, random string. So you want a, that's a random MTU event 1344. Make sure there's an at fs address here, uh, some password, press save. Okay. So now I'll change that to 1344. Um, I want to close the browser and launch it again. Excuse my messy desktop. Go back to 192.168.1.1. Log in. Admin. Password. WJNFW9. WJNFW9. Log in. Basic setup. Okay. Let's now um, open the debugger. F12 on Chrome. Um, go to sources, which is already highlighted. Go to the show navigator. Double click ATM PVC HDM. Go down to line 606. Not too far, too far, too far. Single click so the breakpoint is uh, active there on line 606. And then what we do is we capture this. It's paused, okay, so it's now gone dark. It's paused it, paused in debugger. Go back to console. So set CFG ISP underscore username one. Enter. Set CFG. Oops. CFG. ISP password one. Blank. Return. And then go back to sources. Resume script execution on the right. It's now saving our blank details. Sorry, Brightbox, you didn't fool us this time. We've got around your useless script. There we go. We've got a blank username, blank password, and custom MTU. Cheers, guys. Take care. God bless you. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Please don't subscribe because it's your choice. I'm not going to force you to subscribe. If you want to subscribe, take your pick. Go for broke. You know, just do it. I mean, I don't care. I'm not going to say, add me on Facebook, like me on Twitter, subscribe, tweet me. No, if you want to subscribe, you do it. Bye-bye.